Hello and welcome to this Filbert Flies review of Just Sims Dusseldorf scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. You join me here on final approach to runway 23 left at Dusseldorf and I'm starting with an approach as always to give you a little look at the surrounding area and also the opportunity to gauge the performance of this add-on on my system which is an i7-8700K processor with 32GB of RAM and a 1080 Ti graphics card. This approach also gives me the opportunity to point out a bug in the scenery. The Pappy lights are misaligned, showing four whites even when on or below the glide slope. Anyway, I'll finish the approach and landing and I'll speak to you again when we're parked up at a gate. We'll have a good look around this airport in different weather and lighting conditions and I'll finish up by giving you my opinion on it. Speak to you shortly. Welcome to Dusseldorf. We're parked up here at Stand 3 and we'll start by watching the custom model jetway connect to the aircraft and see how well it does. Pretty flawless, I think you'll agree. Jetway moves quite rapidly, um, but the hood goes right over the top of the aircraft, just as it should, and no part of the jetway breaches the skin of the aircraft. So let's move on to having a look at the jetway itself. You'll notice we've got some enterprise car rental advertising on the side of it. And this has been done to a reasonably high standard. The textures are quite blurry if you get up close. And I would say that the whole thing just looks a little bit dark to me. But uh, not the end of the world. It's nice to see the attention to detail that's gone into adding it in the first place. You'll notice that the staircases attached to the jetways have transparent glass on the outside, which you can see through and which reflects the light quite nicely. If we go inside, you'll notice that the glass disappears, but at least the structure remains. Overall, good to see. The terminal buildings themselves don't have any transparent glass or interior modelling, but at first glance the texture work looks really rather good. We haven't got too many repeating textures with this weathering. It looks quite convincing from afar. If you get too close, you will notice that these textures aren't the highest resolution. We do have a little bit of pixelation that becomes visible from this sort of distance. However, the windows are reflective with PBR materials in use and overall the building looks pretty good as you pull up to it in an aircraft. The roof textures are very low resolution, they don't have much detail on them at all, but the modelling isn't too bad with uh, chimney pots and other clutter on the roof which makes it look quite realistic. And to be honest, if you're flying into this airport or over the top of it, I'm sure these textures will be just fine. The modelling and texturing on piers B and C is done to a similar standard as that on pier A where we parked.
The story is much the same over at the main terminal, a good quality of modelling, blurry roof textures and pretty nice weathered textures on the side of the building, which don't bear too close an inspection due to their resolution, but which are good enough if you're taxiing around in an aircraft. It's nice to see that we have a good quality airport sign on the roof of this building. As you can see, the textures are pretty sharp and the modelling is very high quality indeed. The landside area in front of the main terminal is a bit of a mixed bag. It's nice to see road signs which are very crisp and well modelled. It's also nice to see 3D vehicles, you'll notice a few taxis and buses around. And I also really like this sort of wrap around canopy thing which has been very nicely modelled indeed. However, the road surface as you will notice looks really odd. Not only does it have very low resolution textures, but it's also incredibly shiny, almost like it's got a coating of glass. So I think it's safe to say this isn't an airport at which you'll spend a huge amount of time visiting the landside area. The hangars and other peripheral buildings around the airport are well modelled, but you will notice that the textures are significantly lower resolution than those on the main terminal, and they do look very blurry, even from a reasonable distance away. The cargo terminal here is nothing to write home about. The modelling is fine, but the texture work is a bit disappointing. Most of the textures show no signs of the weathering that we saw on the main terminal, which leaves them looking a little bit flat. They're also pretty low resolution, which means that this building looks blurry even from this distance. There's also not much in the way of life. You'll notice we have a few vehicles parked about, but nothing like the number that you would expect to see at a busy cargo hub like this one. This second cargo terminal looks slightly better. The textures are still fairly low resolution and blurry, but they do at least have some weathering, and I like the solar panels on the roof which reflect the light nicely. The ground textures at this airport in general look pretty good. They are nice and sharp, nice and high resolution, and there's a good amount of dirt and discoloration around the place. The taxiway centre lines and other ground markings look just about right to me. They're not too sharp, not too faded, and some of them are a bit grubby, which is nice to see. I'm also impressed by the attention to detail with matching the real thing. The colours and materials used are approximately right, and if you have a look at the Google satellite uh, imagery, you'll notice that things like this semicircular repair over here match the real thing very closely. That said, there are areas where the ground is more of an approximation of the real thing. For example, there are white aircraft stand markings in the real airport, and these are missing from outside the cargo terminal here. Also, the shape of this roadway isn't particularly accurate. The taxiways are nice and crisp as well, but there are some further inaccuracies here. According to the Google satellite imagery, all the taxiways here have thick white edge lines, whereas here we have double yellow lines instead. The runway and taxiway signs are very nicely done, they're nice and crisp and easy to read. And the grassy areas look pretty good as well, with a good variety of tones and types of foliage. The two runways in this scenery look really pretty good. The type and colour of material used matches the real things, and the markings are pretty spot on. The only thing that could be improved upon, in my opinion, is the amount of rubber. Now, the satellite imagery shows rubber all the way along the centre line, and we don't have that here. We just have patches around the touchdown zones. But that's a very small point, and in general, I like the runways a lot. Here's Dusseldorf Airport at night, and I'm sorry to say it's not great news here. The window textures, which are used to represent the lit terminal interior, are incredibly blurry, even from a long way away, and they just don't look good at all. You'll also notice the lower windows are exactly the same. We've got this repeating texture, which doesn't look in any way realistic. This hangar, directly behind our aircraft, appears to have floodlights casting pools of light beneath them, but in fact these lights aren't lit at all, which is odd. We've also got a strange mishmash of colours in these lower windows, and again very low resolution textures. The apron lighting is actually pretty good, with the floodlights casting pools of light as you would expect. And the main terminal looks quite good from afar. I really like these red lights along the roof. But again, the minute you get a tall close, you'll notice the low resolution textures, which really do spoil the illusion. 
That said, the runway and taxiway lighting is done very well, and I really like the way these taxiway signs cast a pool of light in front of them. They're also very easy to read when they're backlit. Here's Dusseldorf in the rain, and I think you will agree the ground textures look really pretty good when they're wet. And here's Dusseldorf in the snow. Now to be fair, I think Justin have done a pretty good job here. I really like the way there is a little bit of snow on top of the taxiway centre lines. I like the little gaps in the snow. I like the way some of this uh, dotted line is covered and other bits aren't. Overall, the apron area looks pretty good. We have the usual issue of certain surfaces being able to support more snow than others, which is why this part of the taxiway and this texture in general isn't as thickly covered as the apron. But that said, it still looks pretty convincing. The runways unfortunately are entirely blanketed in snow, with the exception of the rubber marks. But overall, not a bad job at all. So what do I think of this airport? Well, it's a mixed bag, but I'm afraid that overall I'm a little bit underwhelmed. On the face of it, this is a fairly decent representation of Dusseldorf, and Just Sim have done certain things very well. The resolution of the ground textures, for example, and the weathering on the terminal buildings. The custom jetway animations are impressive, the runways look great, and they've done a pretty good job with the snow implementation. However, the night lighting leaves a lot to be desired. Those nighttime window textures are among the worst I've seen. While the daytime textures on the main terminal are pretty good overall, those on the cargo terminals and the peripheral buildings are, in my opinion, too low resolution. The ground markings could do with reworking to match those at the real airport, and the pappies need fixing urgently. The whole thing just feels like a little bit of a rush job. Don't get me wrong, this is far better than the default auto-generated Dusseldorf, and if you want this airport in the sim, then this might be worth considering but there are far more detailed, far more realistic airports available for far less than the €23.88 Euros asking price, inclusive of tax. So there you have it. I hope this review was useful. If so, please feel free to like, subscribe and even donate if you're feeling generous. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon here on Filbert Flies. Bye bye.